Let us showcase what we are going to unbox right now. And it is the Comica Boom XU. And this is the U2 version. And so let's uh, do the unboxing and uh, let's see what this thing can do. Do a light score. All right, we've got this going here. All right, so let's start from the back here. Features, you guys wanna see the features? Let's just go over here. Mini portable broadcast level, dual transmitters triggered by one receiver, which is awesome. Internal and external mic, two input modes, and that's great. So it reminds me a little bit of the Rode Wireless Go with a built-in microphone, but you can also add your own. Working distance up to 120 meters, or what is that, like 400 feet. Multiple channels used for several devices working together. Auto scanning. Um, LCF M slash S switch 16 level adjusting gain control, which is actually nice. There's 16 levels of gain adjustment. Muting functions, which is awesome, which is, I think the XD previous version also had that real time visual power and audio dynamic monitor, which you can see probably in that screen over there. Um, let me see here. Special anti loose design for external lavalier mic, which I actually did see it on the D. Uh, the, the Boom XD versions, I'm hoping they've kept that same system. A colored TFT display, high resolution, designed with multifunction belt clip and compact. And so actually you can see right here, optional kits. Uh, they do currently only show you two where you get one uh, transmitter and you get one receiver and you get two transmitters and one receiver, which is the unit I have now. Let's open this up. Wow, this is nice. So first things first is you get a nice you get a nice case and that's great when you're transporting things like this that you don't have to come up with your own case so that's already a bonus and all the accessories are in here I'm gonna have to open them all up a little bit later so let's just get to the meat of the unboxing which is the units here so and here we go to so boom XU it looks production ready so I'm not gonna read through all this I'm gonna be testing this with Chris meets Chris my videographer so he's gonna I'm gonna get him to read this and uh, let's look at first of all so you have two of the um, so these are two transmitters this is what you'd actually will clip on to wh whoever is going to be mic'd up and it is great that it ha they have their own built-in microphone you can see the actually well, I'm gonna move this out of the way so let's just here we go so let's move this off to the side. And so here we go. You have the, the one receiver, which makes sense, right? And you have the clip on the back. And what is this on the side here? Oh, I see. So this looks like this is the antenna, which is kind of nice. It's nice and simple. Look at that. It Doesn't it remind you of Interstellar somehow? Look at that. So the antennas just kind of uh, move up like that. And that, that's very, that's very compact. Like this is... This is my little pocket knife, and look how, look, how, look how small this unit is, that's awesome. And here are the two transmitters, and so this is a clip here, and I guess you can attach it to either to your jacket or, or your shirt or something, but it looks, it's a little bit unsightly. I've seen people do that with the Rode uh, Wireless Go, and it just looks kind of goofy, but if you don't have a choice, I guess it makes sense, but this is it here. You have a USB-C connection, there's your infrared, there's a re uh, reset button, a little tiny one, and unlike the Boom XD, there's no screen on this, so you have to heavily rely on the receiver side to see your levels and see if you're muted and stuff like that, which makes sense because if this is clipped on to uh, whoever's speaking, then it really should be the person on camera that's really watching the levels and stuff like that, right? So, uh, so far, I mean, it's nice and light. I know it has a built-in battery, so no need to put any batteries in, and so you just hold that down for a few seconds and you can see the lights come on here, and I'll check out this as well here's the power button here you hold down for a few seconds and there you go there it turns on and you can see right there you can see the can you see that the two channels there and it has a and b so that's probably what this is here we just turn this on as well and i'm not going to really test this here so it's nice it shows you the battery level on the two units as well as what channels they are on so that's awesome i just have to figure out how to set it up so here i'll just put these down here and let's look through well maybe just move it up here and i'll move my knife spider co and let's just uh look at all the accessories you get so let's just pull these all out and it is nice a lot of these uh, uh companies do give you all the accessories and this is actually a, this is a really nice case that i mean i i i would definitely use this some some cases are kind of goofy you end up just kind of using your own case but this one looks really nice so let's just see all the different attachments you get uh with this kit here 
One thing is, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm touching here, but you know when you're ready to use it, at minimum, at least just use your t-shirt to wipe the contact. You should never physically touch this. Let's just open up all the connections. I'll speed through this. Really, really gone to town on the accessories. All right, so I finally opened everything up. You get quite a bit. I mean, they even give you an eighth inch to XLR. So if you are going from your transmitter here, and there's the output, and you're going into some more of a pro system here, you can just plug straight in that way. So that's awesome to give you that. There's also a, a headphone monitoring plug in here. So it doesn't, I don't think there's, maybe there's levels in here. I'll find out if there's levels. You can adjust the level of the input. You get uh, USB to type C. This must be just for the charging. Uh, I don't see the charging. There we go, so there's the charging there. So this uh, this is to charge all three units to give you one, so you have to charge all three separately. So you got the charger, you have the XLR to eighth inch adapter, you have two different types of connectors. This is the, I forgot the name, but it has like the four sections, so this goes into like a smart phone device. This is into the output here, and this goes into your smartphone uh, TSR or TRS plug. So that's great that they include this. And then they still have another one here. Uh, this is for uh, plugging into your camcorder directly. So I wish there was a, a quarter, quarter 20 or some kind of a way of attaching uh, some some way and as well it, it would have been nice especially on these units here if this clip could kind of spin right so you can figure out what angle to put this on and then you get two dead cats and uh the shape is weird because this is square but if you look here i'm not sure if you could see it this is also square so it actually gives you two dead cats and we'll see how well this works and how easy it is to put on Let's see there. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. So you can put the two dead cats, uh, muffler, whatever you want to call it. All right, so put them on pretty good, like that. And so imagine having something like this clipped on and like on, on camera. That would be insane. It would be so... Uh, It'd be so weird looking, but uh, you know, sometimes I guess you don't have a choice. And here, they give you two um, pretty decent lavalier microphones. Uh, this is kind of big here, but uh, this is what I was kind of looking at, is the, uh, that they have this clip system. So if you see this here, it says microphone plug-in, but there's a second hole. It's like, well, what's the second hole for? It's for this little clip. See how it goes in like that, and it clips in. See that? Look at that. So it's, it doesn't come out easily, and I think that's actually awesome. This is probably how I'm going to use it most of the time. It's nice to even have this reusable little Velcro connection here like that, so then you can put this out, and then once you finish, you can just Velcro it shut again. But uh, yeah, that's a really nice, that's a really nice design, and you, they give you two of them. And I'm going to kind of put everything back in here. Because this is a new product, they don't have any brochures or anything else, but you can see how everything just fits nicely inside here, like that. And then all your different accessories will, well, I made a mess of this, but all this stuff here will fit inside here. So let's put it all back as least messy as possible. Here we go. So just grab all that like that. And here you go. Look at that. So this is a really cool kit. So let's, uh, so that's the unboxing portion. Let's uh, read through the manual. Not right now, and uh, we're gonna go test this out in the field and see how it goes. All right, so let's uh, let's get rocking. All right, guys. So now I'm in my studio and I'm just testing the lavalier mic and using the transmitter. This is just the second one. This is the one I'm actually using uh, in my studio for my talking head. And you know, usually I do have a boom. And I use the Rode Video Micro, which is not really a boom microphone, but I just put it off camera and kind of above. And it's always worked for me reasonably well. Uh, the one weakness is if I spin around and churn like this, uh, the audio, the microphone is on the back of my head. You like my haircut? Thank you, camera girl. And so having a lavalier like this in my studio even is advantageous because no matter which way my head is turned, no matter if I look up or look down, you're gonna get consistent audio levels. Now this lavalier microphone, I've done a couple of uh, tests with it. Um, uh, it's not like a hundred dollar lavalier microphone. It's probably like a 20 or $30 microphone, but you know, the fact that it's included in the kit it's great. Uh, if you have a nice one already, you have a backup. The fact that it clips in like this is really nice. And for someone like, like myself, the audio for this is good enough. I'm not shooting a documentary. I'm not shooting a movie for Netflix yet. 
so something like this is just perfect. In terms of the, the clip itself, I wish it was more of a nicer rotating clip so you can change the angle. Um, the clip goes this way and the microphone kind of wants to go sideways. And so if it rotated, it'd be nice. But again, it's thrown in for free, so I'm not really gonna complain about that. If you're paying $100 for a nice one, then there's room to complain. And of course, this is the uh, built-in microphone, much like the Rode Wireless Go. So I'm gonna unplug this now. You can hear a little bit of a pop. And uh, now this is the sound quality of the built-in microphone. It's a little thinner, it's a little more trebly. Maybe some people will like it. I don't have the dead cat on it, so you're probably gonna hear a little bit of pops and, and stuff like that. The only advantage I could see using something like this is if you are maybe interviewing someone, I mean, you do have a second unit, but even if your co-host is laved up and they're using the second unit, and then you are kind of interviewing like a third person at a conference or convention or something and you're you're asking questions you know you can sort of share this so in a way you can almost get a third person uh mic'd up like this but let's just uh, clip this on here and this is uh now the audio level was optimized for the lab so you're probably going to hear a bit of a, a dip in volume but you know to me this just looks kind of goofy and some people can pull it off. I, I don't want to pull it off. I could pull it off if, if I had to, but again, because this kit gives you the option to attach a lavalier microphone, and on top of that, it actually is included in the kit, might as well just use it. And so I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna just plug this back in like this. There you go, locked in. And this is pretty much how I'm gonna use it and just kind of clipped off to my side here like this. Just remember that um, because this is set up with uh, the ability to do two units, um, when you're just using it for yourself, you would set it in mono mode, which means uh, non-stereo, uh, both sides are picking up the same audio, right? But if you have two units uh, and you put it to stereo, what happens is that one unit is on one track, the other unit is on another track. So you're gonna get left and right. And then in post, if you wanna make it into mono, you can, and you can equalize. But the beauty of that is if the two people are either, like one person's volume is louder or quieter, you can separately adjust the the volume, the treble, the bass uh, on the two different transmitters, which is great that you can do that. Or if you wanted to, you can just put mono and it just both merges into uh, one single track and then, but because it's blended together, the two units, you can't adjust the volumes of the two people separately. And that works out well for me because I tend to have a much louder voice than whoever happens to be on. And so to be able to uh, not only set my separate uh, gain for myself, so you know, dropping my volume, increasing the volume of my guests, but even after listening and you realize, man, Taka is still much louder than his guests, you could still drop me or raise the other person up in post. And so that's kind of the value of having that stereo track. And I really appreciate uh, this unit having that. Now, Chris and I also had a chance to go outside and test the unit. And the couple of things we tested was uh, just the, the distance. And he brought his Fujifilm 100 to 400. And we tested it to the point where um, I was so far away that I had to call him on my on my iPhone and call uh, so that we can even communicate. We actually just phone him. <laughs> he called Chris Janakis. Let's see what happens. Hey, what's up? Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. We're, so far, We're away. so far away. We have to phone each other. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you from where you are. I can just see your lips moving. We're definitely We're like, definitely like 100, 100 meters, meters away, away and maybe even maybe just a little bit past, past that. that. But one but of the things, one is, things is, is, it's line of sight. So I'm turning my back and I think that the audio, Chris, the audio cut. Yeah, it cut. Yeah, see, so then- Back around this way. Now, Chris, is the audio back again? Audio is back. And so having two units, even when it's loud, these lavalier mics, really the microphone's right by, you know, the, where the person's speaking, so it picks up the audio really well. And so that's where, and look, the sun's coming on now. So, uh, Chris, we haven't heard the audio yet. We haven't, yeah, so we're both laved up. Uh, we are in line of sight. We have a 120 millimeter lens on the APS-C, so yep. we're at about 180 millimeters full frame, which is like a 200 mil. Yeah. And about 40, 50 feet out from the camera. So this is, I would say, is a, the most 
logical way of using it if you have two. This even this is even like probably a, a longer distance than you actually, would even use it. We actually should be two, at least we, two meters apart. Yeah, we're there two we meters apart now. We're using the stereo recording. Left and right track. Yeah, so we're, we're audio split, and especially if we are even further apart, it's very separate tracks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think what you're getting in this kit is is pretty awesome. All right, so what do you think, Chris? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways? I think uh, we'll do both. I, I, we should do a thumbs up, a thumbs down, and also a thumb sideways, just in case, because we haven't watched it yet. All right, so let's do a thumbs yeah. up now. Yeah, thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. So uh, it looked like we were about 100 meters, and when I spun around, uh, the audio did cut at times. And we were in a busy commercial area with buildings and maybe there's a lot of interference with it. Even at times where there was line of sight, there was a little bit of cutting in and out. Um, I didn't use the auto scan feature, which I probably should have. And that's nice as well that you can scan both units and see, uh, especially if you're in, at a conference or a convention and there are other people doing wireless uh, um, audio systems that you can pick the best channel and it'll just kind of auto scan for both A and B input. So I was happy enough again for someone like me to be able to be a hundred meters away from my camera is insane. Uh, I probably, especially if I'm by myself, I wouldn't want to be more than like where I am now. I'm about five and a half feet away from my camera and that's probably what is far away as I want to be. But if I am with a camera person and to be a hundred meters away, that's probably the maximum I would ever want to uh, be from my camera person anyway. So I think that test was great. And another thing I didn't notice when I was uh, playing with the unit on the unboxing is that this clip here on the receiver side does slip into the hot shoe of your camera. And that's how I have it set up here. So overall, my thoughts on this system is great. I mean, you can hear the audio quality right now. I think for someone like me, if you're on a budget and you want a, a kit that has everything, as you saw in the unboxing, it gives you the TRS to TRRS so you can use your smartphone instead of a, a camera like that I'm using right now. Or you can use the XLR and if you're plugging into, let's say an external recording system, uh, which if you are doing something a little bit more complex, you can do that as well. And because it records in stereo, it records in two separate tracks with your two transmitters and uh, two lavalier microphones. You get the dead cats on this system here if you want to use it. And so, and it comes with a, a pretty darn decent case, a carrying case that you can keep with you. A USB charging, um, infrared uh, connection between the transmitter and the receiver. So it just auto syncs for you. And again, you can also pick the various channels. You can adjust your, your gain level. So uh, for $219 for the two transmitter kit, uh, even for $150 for the one transmitter, one receiver, I think just pay the extra dollars for the extra unit because even if you only use it 10, 15% of the time, having a second transmitter is fantastic. Even if it means um, you, you know, just as a backup, I think it's worth it. But you know, just being with the mic up somebody else and having this audio to go either directly into your camera or into an external recorder is a very powerful tool. And to be able to get it at that $220 price point, Comica, you did a great job. And as well, built in um, batteries, right? So I think it says four to five hours of battery life. So you don't even have to turn it off, really. You could just uh, keep it on the whole time while you're out and about. And you can even charge this remotely if you have an external battery charger. And so uh, I think overall, this is a great unit. Comica, thank you so much for sending this out to me. Um, I have links down below. They're not affiliate links. They didn't pay me to make this video. I was just really excited that they had a unit like this for me to try out. As I said before, the next time I go to Hong Kong and I see Mr. David Chan, or see any of my other friends, now I have a system where I can properly mic up both myself and my guest and, uh, you know, create better videos for you guys. So don't forget to like down below, guys. See if you have any questions, uh, ask them down below and I'll try my best to answer for you. I'm not a huge audio video techie guy, but I kind of stumbled my way through this, but um, I think I did a pretty okay job. And I'll do more tests and uh, when Chris comes back from vacation, we will try to do uh, some more talking head together. So uh, thanks for watching and we will see you soon. Happy shooting.